new toys! Yeah! Buzz Lightyear, at your service. Welcome to Sunnyside, folks. You'll find being donated was the best thing that ever happened to you. Oh, may I? Oh! <laughs> Who's Velocistar 237? Oh, that, that's just a dinosaur toy down the street. That's nothing. Let me just take care of that. Just a dinosaur. Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of Toy Story 3. Pixar Animation Studios has produced no fewer than five movies I've described as masterpieces since 2001. So I'm not complaining too loudly that Toy Story 3, the second feature length -like sequel in the studio's history, is merely very good. After a narrow brush with trash collectors, Buzz and the rest, except for those little green soldiers who decide to go AWOL, figure that being donated to a daycare center is preferable to sitting untouched in the attic. Woody's loyalties are torn between his master and his friends, and basically the themes of loss and transition, so beautifully portrayed in the second film, which topped the original, are replayed. At last, I'm gonna get played with! Uh, Rex? Come to Papa! <laughs> The daycare center, Sunnyside, turns out to be more like a prison camp, presided over by a seemingly jovial stuffed bear named Lotso, who has been twisted by loss in his past. Toy Story 3, which is being pointlessly shown to 3D in many locations, may not be a masterpiece, but it still had me in tears at the end. So I'm giving Toy Story 3 three and a half stars out of four. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com. Recess don't last forever. Right on, Lotso. This way, everybody. Oh. <laughs>